everyone, Merry Christmas and welcome back to Figure Fantasy. So today we'll have a strategy and build guide for Zhu Liang. So um, fortunately I was able to get him today and was able to do a couple of playtests before this video and found him very interesting, a very interesting and a very you know insightful playtest I may say. So let's start with his skill first guys. Um, Take a look at his attack. So just basic attack. So level 2 and 3 boost the damage from basic attack by a total of 50% from level 2 to level 3. Next is his ultimate. So this is where he does a little bit more damage. So deals damage to all enemies and changes the weather to, to east wind for 10 seconds while the east wind is blowing. Reduces the amount of health amount of health the enemies restore by 40 percent so that's a big chunk and when they are defeated they explode dealing a great amount of damage to those surrounding them okay energy regen rate is going to be at six per second so upgrade for these two i think the most important upgrade is level two while the east wind is blowing extra burn damage will be dealt every second to the enemies that are ignited this is what i meant about dealing extra damage especially when you're dealing with bosses uh units with uh, high hp this will really be a big help as for level 3, extends the duration of the East Wind to 12 seconds, which is kind of good for additional 2 seconds. And um, while the East Wind is blowing, all teammates, including summon creatures, critical hits, ignite the enemies. Also a nice addition, but again, level 2 is most important. So better get yours up to level 2 if you have him already. Um, it's going to go through his... Um, this is going to be his passive support. Passive. Boost the figures and adjacent allies crit damage by 24%. Which is good because this is going to be... Uh, sorry, this is going to be crit chance. And hooks a Kong Ming Lantern to them. Which absorbs lethal damage once and then transforms into a shield. Definitely a good skill to have. Especially for a passive. Um, especially if, you, if there are a lot of you know, hordes that you're facing um this is going to be handy in terms of the survival of your team then once uh after the 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 le uh, absorbs lethal damage uh then transforms into a shield the shield lasts up to 10 seconds and will be adjusted by zhu liang's attack so take note he has to have a high attack stat even though he's a helper okay take note of that that's a that's one of the things that uh, you should know when you build him. Level 2 is boost adjacent allies crit damage. So again, uh, at first it was 24% for crit chance. And the next one is uh, level 2 is crit damage by 24%. So you're already complete. Crit chance, crit bonus. Again, very good to boost um, your adjacent allies or all uh, uh, yeah, adjacent allies for both. Level 3 is supports all allies. Restores allies energy by 10 when Kongming Lantern is hooked. So, additional energy for you, your team. And uh, for his special, so heals a random ally every three seconds. And this is just standard. This, this is just addition. And level two is good. Boost attack by 5% attack speed by 10. Um, it adds to the shield that he gives. And that is it, guys. Um as far as his skills is concerned, it's very intriguing how to use him. Um, it's only a, it's a pity that I only have him at yellow one star. I need one copy to raise him to at least one star peach. Um, let's move on to his... Um, mo this is actually most of what you need to, to build for him. Okay, so attack should be increased to S. Uh, as part of uh, not he's not really his uh, what they call it, it's going to be his strength but you're gonna have to raise this because this is the stat that will be based uh, where will your where will where your shield will be based on okay health also also a strength but at a but preferably um try to get it a, a little above and defense is kind of good already um so far his weakness is going to be um, I hope he doesn't get killed early because you need him as a very, you know, a very important support, especially for a long game content that you are trying to um, figure out or trying to close out. Okay, so 
let's go to the parts that he has. So this is how I, I equipped uh, my, my, my Zhu Liang for now. So I have him at crit rate. Then I have him at attack set. Then this one is just temporary boost healing and shield by 5%. But the recommended one for him. So let's go to equip. Let's see what's the recommended gear for him. I actually tried to. I was wondering why attack? Why the recommended attack? And I realized that the attack stat is going to be contributing to your shield. So as you can see here, it's going to be attack set. And this is going to be your crit set, I think. If I'm not mistaken, yes, critical set. And this is going to be your defense. So if you want him to be more survivable, um, defense is the way to go. Probably a little bit of health if you want to include health. But my um, my the, my recommendation for the most important gear is going to be your attack set. So please do have attack sets on him. And let's go back to Zoom Lang for his badge. So for the badge, um, there are a couple of recommendations for the badge. Uh, one of the recommendations is... Um, let me just find the one that I... Eternal Glory. Where is Eternal Glory? I have to look for it. The Glory, Glory. Here you go. So Eternal Glory, this is one of, you know, at least if you have this on him, he also gains a shield equal to 128% of attack. So um, I assume that his attack is already big. So absorbs lethal damage once as well. Again, to give him more survivability, especially if there are, you know, shenanigans reaching the back row. And restores 24 energy when absorbing lethal damage. So this is one. Um, uh, two others would be end time destiny where is destiny here you go end time destiny would be the one so boosts healing and shield by 16 percent preferably you're gonna have to get this and if you don't have the the, um, the purple version um you're gonna have to be contented with this one the blue one which is limited destiny badge so again those are my recommendations for badges for him um preferably the second one to increase the shield that he is going to give because that is going to be important moving forward and the survivability of your allies okay so for team composition so team comp he's going to be one of the one of the uh what they call this one of the centerpieces of an Ignite team. So I was actually um, um, thinking about an Ignite team um, moving forward. And he will be one of your centerpieces. He's the centerpiece. Then the other one of the... Um, another centerpiece is going to be Zhao Yu. Zhao Yu is going to apply heal, attack speed, and also Ignite. So he is going to help... So basically, uh, Zhu Liang will, will be helping Ignite deal more damage. Other one that you would want to consider is going to be Sanada Yukibura. If if they're building a, a Ignite team, the three of them are going to be very, very good. As far as I you know recall and I have tried, they Ignite teams are going to be good in your final battle, preferably in tier or probably in Code V. But let's go to the big three because this is uh, very intriguing. I am already at um, 18, but I'm going to finish uh, 19. So he's going to be very, very good here. Most of the Ignite, um, most of the Ignite, uh, what do you call this, uh, pieces are in Galatea. So I just didn't put uh, Sanada here. But you have here Zhao Yu and he is here. Zhu Liang is here. So let's try to finish this stage. So even though he's at one star, one star yellow, let's try to, you know, move past this. I've had a difficulty moving past this. So this is the first time that I'm doing this with him. So the most difficult ones that I have a problem is dealing with these two. These helicopters that uh, are very annoying, and hopefully I could take care of them. Because once you've take once you've taken care of them, 
the um, the boss is going to, the, the boss is going to be not that difficult so again it's a good thing you have him because previously um without zuliang i could not clear this the, the both both those annoying helicopters then we're down to the boss we're down to time seven so so far so good um hopefully we could uh, at, at least wear this down to times two um because uh, this guy uh zhao yu is going to finish him off most probably so again a very good boost is going to be zuliang for this team he can be part of your uh, big three team for galitea so so far they're they're protected as you can see from lethal damage so it gives them another wind to finish off the boss as you can see he's he's, he's very good he's, he's really great guys um, gives you time to finish to be able to have a one-on-one. -on -one. So hopefully Zhao Yu can finish the boss off. Shield, please. Okay. So that is nearly it. There you go. Yes. So as you can see, he's a big boost in your big three team for Galatea. Um, he's going to shine here very much. Um, Galatea is going to you know, be receiving a very huge boost when he's around in your team. Okay, so for Zuliang, my final thoughts would be, again, one of the best, I think, uh, one, one of the best, uh, uh, what they call this, one of the best, uh, Snow A, I'm looking for that word, Snow A, um, figures that we have um again he's worthy of tier s uh, if you have copies of him and if you want if you plan to invest of him in him i think he's one of the most important uh figures that you invest in again as you can see there very good boost um really really helps your team and again he's not limited to your to any ignite team he, he can be very good in any team. So he excels more just in Ignite teams. So again, guys, if you have him, please do build him. And please do make sure that his attack stat is high so that he, he could give a higher, you know, higher, what they call this, higher shield or bigger shield to your allies. Okay, guys, so thank you very much for staying this far in this video. And again, I hope you guys have a Merry Christmas. I won't um, I won't take long anymore. And uh, hopefully, guys, you consider subscribing to my channel because this helps my channel a lot. And take care, guys. Stay safe. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.